I was introduced to this character when I was quite young. We've all seen those Batman and Robin movies, and as a kid, it was all Batman and Robin for me. Hey, little birdie's alone. When I first read the script, I loved the fact that it was the beginning of a story that hasn't been told before. You know, we've, we've seen um, Robin fight with Batman, we've seen that relationship, but this is starting from a point where he has left Batman, he's trying to go out on his own and um, discover his own identity, his own morals. I, I feel like I can, could connect with that more than anything. Um, his inner struggles to find out who he is and what he fights for um, and basically where to go was what intrigued me to the role. He's working for the Detroit Police Department as a detective by day and by night he's fighting crime as Robin. So, so he's trying to do the right thing by being a direct detective but by night he can't shake the, the training and the, the, the style of fighting crime that he was taught by Batman. In comes Rachel Roth, this teenager that needs help and basically directs him on a, on a better path. And the, the pressure and the anxiety and I guess the responsibility that comes with that scares him a little bit and uh, it's, it's kind of nice to see that the tables have turned a little bit and you know being a mentor and being that kind of father figure maybe isn't so easy. It, it's a coming of age journey for Robin for sure. Um, he has been fighting yeah in Batman's shadow for so long and uh, this is a chance for him to really go out and prove himself on his own. That's one of the things also that, that I loved about this series is it really told the relationship of what it was like to, to be with Batman. You get a real sense that he was mentored perhaps the wrong way. So it's nice to see that it, you know I have a chance to right that wrong. and I, I have a chance to teach these people, uh, these kids, what I believe is right. Where's Batman? <laughs> Fuck Batman. The tone, the vision, you know, the brutality, the action is, is all so dark. It's, uh, it's, it's tricky to add humor in those situations. But yeah, with, with the fuck Batman line and hopefully a few others, we, we, it's not funny, but it's a little bit of a lighter vibe. Taking care of a kid is complicated. You know that better than anyone. And I know how healing it must be doing what Bruce did for you when you lost your parents. I, I had a problem with saying Batman a lot. Dick wouldn't call Batman Batman, you know. The writers, they, they wanted me to say Batman all the time because the, the fans want to hear Batman, Batman. But my argument was, I'm not a fan, I'm, I'm in the show, you know, I'm, a, I'm an actor portraying Dick and he would call him Bruce. Having lived with him and, you know, knowing him so well, it, it's kind of like an actor, a yeah, very well-known actor that, you know, you, know you, don't, you don't call them like, you know, their character names, you call them by their nickname or their name, how you know them. Um, so that was, you know, in the show, it was more of a weird thing saying Batman, Batman's over there. Hey Batman, um, just want to say, yeah, Batman. Uh, you know, I just wanted to call him Bruce when you see the show and I say Batman, just know that I really want to say Bruce. <laughs>